Hello, dear drumming community. Welcome to my video, Jazz Comping the Basics. Here we go. Jazz drumming is more than just keeping the groove and the swing. It's also about supporting, pulling along, inspiring or driving the soloist and the band through rhythmic additions. We call these rhythmic additions comping. Comping does not really have a rhythmical supporting function, but rather an accompanying one. The groove still comes from the swing pattern. Comping is not only played by drummers, the other musicians also play comping figures. Comping on the drums means supporting the soloist or the theme in some way through rhythmic phrasing. It is a central playing technique in jazz drumming. Comping is an interactive technique. Comping therefore has no fixed pattern throughout. The rhythmic figures depend heavily on the musical moment. It can be very restrained, it can be very busy and everything in between. It is essential and indispensable to listen to and pay attention to the soloist and the entire band and to complement their playing, round it off, add to it, perfect it, think it through, push it or more. As you can see, comping can be very diverse. Comping in jazz drumming has a rich and complex history that is closely linked to the development of jazz as a musical genre. Its origins can be traced back to the early days of jazz when musicians began to improvise in their bands and ensembles. Over the years, drummers began to take on an increasingly active role, starting to develop rhythmic patterns and support soloists and the band by comping. Especially in the swing era, comping became an increasingly important practice. Drummers such as Chick Webb, Papa Joe Jones and later the great Kenny Clark, Max Roach, Art Blakey and Philly Joe Jones, among many others, were pioneers and made a significant contribution to the development of comping in jazz drumming. They brought new ideas and innovations to drumming by exploring and applying more complex rhythmic figures and interactions within the music. In my YouTube playlist Jazz Drum Transcriptions and Performances you will find many transcriptions of jazz standards which you can use as examples for comping figures. Today's drummers draw on a rich heritage of comping repertoire and continue to take it in new and innovative directions. Despite these new tendencies, comping in jazz drumming, which has grown out of the traditions, remains an essential part of musical interaction and improvisation that all serious drummers should have studied. The term comping comes from the word to accompany. It is also associated with complement as comping should complement the melody and harmony of the piece. Comping should not dominate but rather give the player space and inspiration to develop. Comping can be used to create tension and dynamics and to significantly influence and shape the piece. Comping usually involves using phrases primarily on the snare drum, the bass drum, between the snare and bass drum but also with a kicked hi-hat. These phrases can pick up or contrast with the rhythm or melody of the soloist or the theme. Accents can be used to emphasize certain passages. Comping is, of course, a skill that can be learned with practice. However, 
Before you delve further into the subject matter and begin the exercises ahead, I recommend that you watch the videos The Notation of the Jazz Swing Simple Pattern, Why Walking Bass in 4 and in 2 are important for drummers, and The Path to the Perfect Jazz Swing Pattern from Stroke to Groove. The following exercises are just the first steps towards acquiring a broad repertoire of comping figures. We start with simple comping figures consisting only of quarter notes. The aim is first and foremost to automate and establish the swing pattern so that you can then play freely with the snare drum, the bass drum and finally both limbs without losing the pulse and the swing. We also do without dynamic differences in the accompaniment figures. However, dynamics play an important role at an advanced stage. Nevertheless, a note. In traditional jazz, unlike in rock and pop music, the snare drum is played quieter than the cymbals. Therefore, when playing the following exercises, at least pay attention to your sound in this respect. We play the swing pattern on the right as notated. The height is played on the beats 2 and 4. The notated quarter notes are played on the snare drum as indicated in the notes. I will play each exercise for 16 bars at tempo 120 as a demonstration. You should, of course, perform significantly more passes, at least 20 in number, because only repetition leads to automatism. If 120 BPM is too fast for you, feel free to start slower and gradually increase the tempo in small steps. Let's start the exercise. 1, 2, 3, 4 1, 2, 3, 4 1, 2, 3, 4 1, 2, 3, 4 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, Bye.
3, 4. Eins, zwei, drei, vier. 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 Eins, zwei, drei, vier, eins, zwei, drei, vier, eins. Eins, zwei, drei, vier, 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 eins, zwei, drei, Eins, zwei, drei, vier, 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 eins, zwei, drei, Eins, zwei, drei, vier. 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 Eins, zwei, drei, vier, 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 eins, zwei
1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Once you have mastered the 15 exercises and always be honest with yourself. Please watch my video on the more advanced concepts of these 15 exercises to give you more freedom when comping. To become a good accompanist, it is important to listen to many different jazz drummers and pay attention to their comping figures. Try to imitate the phrases you hear, mimic the dynamics and sound, experiment with different phrases, accents and volumes. Play along with recordings that are not too fast or too difficult for you. With practice and patience, you will improve your comping skills and take your jazz performance to a new plateau. As mentioned earlier, be sure to check out my video on the advanced concept of these 15 exercises. If you have any questions or would like more information, comment below this video. You can also reach me via social media or send me an email at timo at deinschlagzeuglehrer.de. You can also find all contacts in the description of this video. I'm always happy to answer your questions. I hope you found this video helpful and if you like the content, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and leave a like. Thank you very much and see you soon. Happy comping. Take care.